Dunn. Hey, you with Dennis, and uh, today we're on a big adventure. We're going to Esperance. I'm actually on the Wanganong Road up near uh, Q, heading east uh, towards the Tuckabiana Mill. It is a road train that is going to be dropping off the dirt, or he has dropped off the dirt. So uh, I'll do the ore. He's heading back to get another load. Yeah, real. I mean, snorkel will be sucking all that dirt in. Anyway, just sort of let you know, I'll show you the mill in a second. Uh, I'll we'll chuck the drone up in the air and have a look. And uh, should you, well, it's a good day. I've got to meet a road train further on down this road, so. He's got some, I've got some freight to give him to head back to Perth. He's heading back to Perth, so actually he's heading down to the Island Hook, his trailers, and um, drop them and pick up three more which have been bought up from Perth. So he doesn't have to do the run all the way into Perth. He prefers to stay big and do the longer stuff. So um, yeah, so that's that. I'll be dropping that off, and uh, oh, it's going to be a good day. I'm bloody wrapped. It's a good, good weekend. All right, I'll talk to you later. South southeast of Yarrickman Station, we're heading towards um, uh, Sandstone, basically Sandstone uh, Mount Magnet Road. It's fairly hurting at, at the moment. Um, I'm sitting on about 100, as you can see. You can see that. But um, we're gonna watch it because there's a few uh, floodways down here. They're pretty bad. And there's some big, big cattle, big taking truck out. Um, so I've got to watch myself there. And there's some obviously donkeys and camels out here as well on the rare occasion, but donkeys more than more than anything. Um, they, they were wrecking a ute as well. So yeah, um, I've, I've got a, my foot down um, trying to catch a triple road train. Uh, he's coming back from Leinster for from a drop off this morning. G'day and <laughs> I just pulled up because you wouldn't believe it. Like I said there was cattle here, there's some small ones here. There's this young mum and calf. Well, like, they were on the road here. Um yeah. A bit of a group of them. There's a well not far down from here, so that they've got water. There's more. Um I've just passed the Inglewood town off, uh, Inglewood station if you want to have a look on the map where that is in Western Australia. Um, that station is closed down. Oh, closed down probably 40 years ago now. Um, so we're heading towards Windsor Station, if you want to know. Where Paul Sterrick used to have a lot of cattle and sheep from uh, Mingy, Paul Sterrick uh, Transport. Oh, shout out to Paul if, you, if you're watching, mate. Uh, how you going? How's your knee? The last time I seen you, your knee was pretty banged up kicked by a cow in the yards and then had to drive his road train about 600 k's to drop uh, that's it anyway I'll catch you further on down the road see ya, bye alright, so I just let uh, an oversize through um, I'm on my way to show you the battery, believe it or not in uh, sandstone, so let's go 
G'day. Oh, like I said, this is the old battery in sandstone. There's not much left out here. In this window here, you'll see a, um, if you can see in there. Try and... Looks like a steam driven piston driving uh, generator. Uh, it's Lincoln, England. Pushton, uh, P U S T O N. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to show you around here. Oh, there's a cruiser. Um, got a little bit of time. That uh, road train, I messaged him, he's still in Leinster. He had to wait for a crane to unload him. So there's the battery. And five head. Each one of those rods, is a, if you want to know, is a thousand pounds. And uh, that bent old wooden deck there, that's the working deck. Down the bottom is a workbox. Yeah, this one you can sort of see. Yeah, it looks like it may have been the, uh, the drive wheel for it down the bottom. Big leather belt used to go around. The bang bang bang, the bang bang bang, the bang bang bang, all day long, never stop. And these are dotted all around um, every couple of hundred k's. Oh, there's another one, 240 k's down the road. Uh, pain's fine, still working that one, still in working order. That's the only one in the state left. Little win. But, uh, I don't know what's in there. I never noticed that before. It's interesting. Oh, it's some kind of tank here. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Obviously, it goes down under there. I'm not going through there, I've only got thongs on. Yeah, I'll chuck the uh, drone up and I'll show you around. There's not much out of here. Old ruins, it's been 40 odd years. I don't know if this was a shaft here or a well. Probably more likely a well. But it could have been a shaft straight into the crusher. But if it was, there's no box for... Actually, if it was... Then just in front of the ute would have been the winder. But it's blocked up now, fully. Actually... Yeah, I don't know what this was. I really don't. So that's the biggest... Oh, that might be the actual... Um, that might actually be the um, turntable for the railway. Right there. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. I bet that is. The old steam train turntable right there. There you go. I just answered my own question what it is. It's because it's still got the sleepers on it. What these are is a cattle grid off the roads. But that's what that is, that steel thing there. Yeah. Because it's built like bloody strong and tough. More than what you'd use for the mining over a shaft. Anyway. I'll put the drone up. Oh, the weather out there. There is a... I'm heading south so I am concerned a little bit about the weather. I don't really want it pissing wind and rain. So, anyway. Throw the drone up for a look. Should be good.
G'day. We're at a place called Contradiction Well. This is the road, actually, I'll tell you, down there is uh, 230 k's, is Payne's Fine. We're at Sandstone. Get out of the sun for you. Um, it actually looks like it's collapsed. I'm not going to go up there in case it literally falls in and I end up 200 feet down. But uh, would have had a wheel up there, which you let your bucket or whatever pump down. I'm not sure where the wheel is or it's gone. It was there uh, five years ago, it was there. Contradiction well. So you may have come here, bought cattle here, because this is about where I know, honestly, probably 300 k's from the last well on the Canning Stock Route from Waluna. They call that, I think, Well 1, but it's not Well 1. Well 1 is actually um, just out of Dongara. But I won't tell you where that is, I'm going to keep it a secret. Um, because they shipped the cattle out of there. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, a few offences seen better days. Mulga tends to last a long time though. That's a contradiction well. Anyhow, we'll uh, keep moving on. Okay, just got fuel. I'll top right up. I'm going to stretch the legs out from here and go to cow. So uh, I'll be using probably one and a half tanks. So, um, anyway, I'm just at this little, little park area. Everything's fenced off, worked quite nicely, but yeah, that looks like a screen deck hopper of some sort. Oh, looks more like agricultural, that one. Oh, it is. There's a plow in front of it. Um, that's a skip at the back there, mining. And that's probably the, the, the wheel, possibly, from Contradiction Well, but meant to be a pop-up wheel on top of a head frame. And that looks like an original shoot off a head frame. And there's more in there. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I'll try and meet this road train. Another 150 k's down the road in the intersection. Like I said, he told me he's got to, um, where he had to wait for a crane to unload him, so. Oh, could have been a while. Yeah, he's normally halfway back to Perth by now. But um, anyway, we'll. Uh, Hit the road. Let's get the show happening. Alright, let's go. Shout out to Jane, the gardener, the old gardener here. If um, you're watching, you've done a beautiful job with the gardens, and whoever the new gardener is, you've done a great job in keeping up the work. Yeah, look at this. The bug of Villiers. Beautiful. Just um, show you around town. This is the old school. There's actually no kids in this town. There's no coppers either. But there's virtually no people as well. Only half a dozen. But actually, the population in this town is probably about 20. That's where I used to live there. Um, school over. We used to play with the dog there. Yeah, sheep dog. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's Vicky's old house. Vicky and Steve, old Steve's dead, Vicky's dead now. And uh, Cogler Downs, where they used to work at or live at, is falling down too. Um, tell you, I'm feeling old. This is the caravan park, that's the uh, maybe the works manager's house there, Grove Drive's house there, oh, my old house there too. And, um, yeah, caravan park, beautiful. Yeah, watching. Hey. Nice and posed. 
RFTS uh, uh, here um, probably once a week. That's the old rubber line there. See, they used to, the trains basically used to come up and down here and just up here past that um, tower there's a uh, was a turnaround and now I know where the turnaround is in the ground Used to be an old Land Cruiser parked in that place there. 47 wagon, I suppose you'd call it a 46. I'm not sure, I'm really not sure. It's been a while ago. We, we used to have a few Toyotas back in the day, and actually, where we're going is somewhere I haven't been in 40 years. So, this we'll be uh, heading there. And I can't believe the jetty's taken down 40 years ago. That's, that's incredible. I can remember berthing out a boat to that like it was yesterday. Oh, anyway, like I said, feeling old. We're on the road now, it's about 150 k's to Leinster. Um, and I'll be waiting there at the corner for the road train, for the freight, to drop off and deliver to him. So, that's the uh, little town windmill, coloured methanes on it. Mine just here, uh, gold mine. Shaft right there where that fence is. Uh, the pit's just behind it there. Anyway, we're non-stop now, big rig's on the way, so I'll talk to you when we get there. Alright, bye. Airstrip on the highway, RFTS, if I just hear airstrip. That's Linster, 140. Here's the piano keys. Which way's the wind bomb, Casey's behind me. I hope you guys win soccer over here. Strange that they put out a uh, guide post. It's not much good for an aircraft. <clears throat> Good night. I'm just turning off the uh, road to uh, to Leinster and heading towards um, Agni now. Place called Agni. It's where I used to we used to come and uh, have our shift change and drink, which means uh, we'd do a week and then do another shift change and do another week. But we'd have 24 hours off to to basically go on the piss, whatever. But 
I can't believe, you know, I told them to do this 20 years ago. These uh, windmill farms out here and solar. Because we've got plenty of wind and sun out here. Um, but sadly, our uh, big fan are on. The pub that I used to drink at, the Agnew pub, is has, well, you see, the original owner didn't want the, uh, the lease to go to the mines. The, the, the you know, what do you call it, like the alcohol lease or the, whatever it is. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so, yeah, anyway, that person um, grew old and, and, and um, basically sold it to the catering company, I believe, in town, in, well, town is Linston, which is a mining town, but he didn't want the lease going to the mines um, for the pub because he wanted the pub to keep going, but uh, the, the, I believe the catering company then did sell it to the mines who then sent the bulldozer out and accidentally dropped it in gear I suppose you could say and the pub just happened to be in the way uh, that's Agni Mill over there I've worked there as a, as a uh, maintenance fitter I've worked on a ROM pad there I've shifted about nearly 3 million tonnes of dirt they put through the mill myself, myself. But down here, down here a bit further, uh, I'll show you something as well. It's another battery. This one's a big, big one, big one. Um, if it's still there, it should be. I haven't been here in a long time, probably five years. Yeah, a good five years. Yeah, here, here it is up here. I can see the head frame anyway. Power stations went a lot bigger. I think they put more mines in. That's a solar farm there as well. Wow. That's a lot different than what it used to be. Mind you, out here, all this used to be gravel, there was no Benjamin Grohl. used to go in I think it was just up here somewhere in memory down in there somewhere uh, the roads would be just here somewhere here that new town site yeah the way to you're going to mill there yeah Right, they have upgraded the crusher. And there is no pub anymore. I never thought I'd live to see the day. But there you go. The pub, the Agni pub is gone. Completely gone. It's, it was there. It was like, yeah, uh, it was like as big as a six bedroom house. I can't believe it's gone. Uh, it's hard for me to believe it's gone. But anyway, here's the big 20 head battery. Imagine that thing. A bang, ba bang, ba bang, ba bang. And it looks like a camp over there. That's new too. We'll have a look around here. This, this battery is big. It is big. That there where the stamp comes down is called the work box.
the old burden pan's cracked because this collapsed in, you know they didn't look after it this is all just sitting here now it's obviously not in operation and that's that's a sh real shame it's cracked the ball's missing can hear a jet up there Friday afternoon so all the bosses are flying out I guess but there was a pub right there in that blank area unbelievable I'm just shocked I am shocked I can't believe how noisy this thing would be and the vibration from it would be incredible it would be intense I would have loved to have helped heard it absolutely amazing you were deaf in you in about five years, I reckon. Even this wheel. Uh, this wheel is off a head frame, off a mine, but it's obviously fallen down because it's hit the ground here. Which is sad. I'm doing the gold pour here. Yes, that each one of those is about 2,000 pounds. underground eh? Well it is out here, I know it is. It's been mining underground out here for over a hundred years. You probably don't know this but 
<clears throat> one of the first jobs I had as a kid was learn the winder signals. The reason being is we had our own mine, mines underground, and our family used to jump in there and ring the bell. And uh, my job was to winch them down or up or run the skip. Yeah, leggers. So presses, generators up top, and uh, bore and charge by electric, debt, and fire. So, you know, I, when I came to work in the modern day, learning the ropes and everyone, you, you have your shot fires, this and that, and it was a bit weird because I'd done everything. I'd done everything by the time I was old enough to work in the mine. Uh, not on a mine, officially, it was, it was a bit weird. Because, you know, young kids my age had done nothing. You were just a, a, what they call a nipper. And basically, I was ready to be a shift boss. By right then. But uh, anyway, you know, you, you shut up and put up. Look and listen and learn. And, uh, yeah. You know, find out a lot of things about people that when they say something, you leave them to it, put them to the test what they say and what they can actually do are two different things yeah 20 head sand mill there you go Agni we'll move on hey Back with Dennis, and here we are at the big turn off to you can turn left to either uh, what's not there? Um, you can turn left to either Woburn or Wootown, we call it, or right to Leinster. This is just a right dog leg left to Leinster, or I'm going to uh, pull the way probably to Leonora. Uh, it's half past three now, it's way later than what I wanted it to be when I got here. I wanted it to be around. Um, about 10 30 but because i had to wait for that road train uh, my brother um oh it just uh blew the time out like way way we, we had a chat for quite a while we're at 100 k's to leonora so yeah see what happens oh see the rain in front of us through this Jeez. That's what I'm heading towards and I've got a camp. Not very good. Anyway, I'll um, yeah, I'll see what happens later. Oh. 